Hi guys, I have been moving around a lot lately, so I have not had the time to just sit down and draw and record that drawing process. But if you see my last sketchbook to reveal, link will be in the upper right hand corner, then you know that I have a stash of sketchbooks. So I'll just go ahead and show you this one from 2012. Try not to laugh too hard, okay? <laughs> You guys, I did not even know that I had this old sketchbook. Like, I thought the sketchbook I showed you in my last tour was my older, oldest one. And that is not the case. This is when I was so into art journaling and mixed media and texture and color. And I was just exploring a lot in this little journal slash sketchbook. And you'll see how my style just switches up for no reason but <laughs> I definitely like that I was gluing stuff down and trying different things such as um, this picture on the right you can see that I was doing some um, what's that called I mean shade using just a bunch of lines <sighs> freaking brain fart Sorry guys, I'm recording this voice over and at 6 o'clock in the morning, so I'm tired. If you know what I'm talking about, then just leave it, leave it in the comment. But yes, this is when I also first started doing like artwork for other people. And of course I did not get a lot of commissions back then compared to what I'm getting now. But that's when I'm was realizing, oh, no, I like art, and people like my art, and that's cool, you know, I wasn't really taking art seriously at this time, you know, I honestly just now started taking art seriously when I first started my YouTube channel, which is January 1st of this year, so, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm doing pretty darn well for myself. I do get quite a few commissions nowadays, and I am happy about that. And I'm going to try my best not to thumbs down any of the artwork in this sketchbook like I did in my last one, because people did not like that. <laughs> they thought that I was being too hard on myself, which I probably was, which most artists are too hard on themselves. And you know, art is a growing process. But this sketch right here though, I really did enjoy this sketch. Like, I might remake her because I think I did. An awesome job for back in the day, Kira. And I just like the concept of what's going on there. And I don't know why she's upside down. But yeah, see, as you can see, I played with a lot of texture. I played with a lot of color back then. And that's something that I do want to get back into, but in my own style. Well, not my own style, in the style that I have now. And I think that it would just further develop my style, make it my own. This is actually supposed to be like Princess Nala from Lion King. Excuse me. How about to... <coughs> oh, I am so sorry. I could probably edit that out, but I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. <laughs> it's 6 a.m., and I do not want to keep re-recording this voiceover. But yes, and this is supposed to be uh, Tiana. I was, like, playing with, like, the ideas of princess not being deviants, but just being, you know, different than what we know them now. A little more ballsy, I guess. And, uh, yeah, this girl on the left, though, she's pretty freaky. It's supposed to be Alice in Wonderland. And, like, I deformed her. I don't know what the heck I was thinking back in the day, but it is what it is. I'm sorry that I did that to you, Alice. Please don't hate me. But, yeah, see, I love color and texture. And just trying new things. And I'm going to go ahead and get back into that now that I'm in a style that I'm confident in. And I think I like this page the most. 
because you can really see the growth and the detail I started adding into my drawings, into my sketches. Like, I love this page. I think both of these girls are cute. And, yeah, the one on the right is inspired by a song. Maybe if you know those lyrics, you can go ahead and write what song it is. And, of course, the one on the left on this page is inspired by Nicki Minaj. I noticed that I liked the lines in my hair back in the day. Like, I just wanted to draw a bunch of lines. It's like... It's really weird seeing how you used to draw compared to what you draw now years afterwards. But I'm definitely inspired by the older me to do some things that, you know, I wouldn't necessarily do now. And go ahead and try to do those things like tape things down, glue things down, use pastels, get dirty and messy and... Just play around with texture. I, I want to try to incorporate that back into my work. So you might see some of that stuff. And, you know, I also like fun lettering. Oh, that page on the left. <laughs> yeah. But I do love. See, I'm getting so personal with you guys. Like, <laughs> to show you my journal. It is like my journal. But yes, if you can see. That is, like, so freaking textured. I love texture back then. And I'm definitely going to jump back into that. Oh, and look. <laughs> I guess I accidentally painted those pages together. But, oh well. That's it. I'll see you guys next time.